There we go. We've got the lighting going. All right, we're good. Hey guys, so welcome to our little Vegans Baby Live broadcast. I have got Kyle O'Sullivan here all the way from the UK. Um, you may have seen him go viral this summer, had a little rap going on, but he is actually a big animal rights activist. So I wanted to bring him on today to talk about being vegan in the UK and tips for animal rights activism and all that good stuff. So. Kyle, thank you. I know it's a little bit late over by you. Um, it's the middle of the day uh, here, so, you know. <laughs> it's never too late to talk about veganism. <laughs> well, that is a great attitude. I love it. Um, so I guess I'm just going to start. Uh, why don't you just go ahead and tell everyone a little bit about you, where you're from, what you're doing, and all that good stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'm from, I'm from England, obviously. From England, a little, little uh, city called Coventry. It's most people in England don't even know where it is, so I'm not even going to try and explain, but it's bang on right in the middle of England. A um, little bit about myself, I'm 27, so I think I'm going to die this year because I'm a rock and roll star. Hopefully not. I'm mean, okay. um, And I'm vegan, obviously, is what we're talking. Um, but yeah, I've been vegan for about two and a half years now, and it, it, that's, that's, that's my life in a nutshell now. Honestly, it's revolutionized my life, like it's changed me as a person, and it, it, it's who I am now. It's not just a part of me, it's who I am, so there's not much to know about me other than my name's Kyle and I'm a vegan. <laughs> That's it, and I do some raps now and again, there you go. <laughs> what made you go vegan? What made me? My, my friend Kath, who, who's over there now, he's obviously smiling. Yeah, there you go. Uh, she, yeah, she can't see you. She's up told him to stay over there and not swear and not be rude. Uh, but no, me and, um, me and her husband, Richard, uh, we were business partners for a few years and uh, I didn't know Kath that well. I knew of her and whatnot, but she was a vegan and I didn't know that at the time. Didn't even know what a vegan was. Um, but Rich, Rich went vegetarian and I'm really intrigued because he was, he was like me, like, and where we come from, being a vegetarian was like quite a strange thing. It's normally like these hippies who live out in the country and shrink foxes and all that, you know what I mean? So you have this perception because it wasn't a common thing, especially with someone my age. You're either born a veggie or you're a meat eater. Um, but no, I used to ask him a lot of questions about it, so I was really intrigued that someone like him would go vegetarian. And okay. like I said, I've usually got an answer for everything, but every question I'd ask him, uh, I'd ask him, couldn't argue with, couldn't argue with, he made valid points over and over again to the point where I was like, oh, I'm going to look into this. Then obviously I started talking to Kath, she told me about veganism, I was like, what? I was like what's a vegan? What, what, what the hell, is that just like someone trying to be an extra special veggie in that, is it one of them people who trying to, right? honestly, that's, so she was telling me about the whole, obviously about vegetarians, all about obviously not killing animals, not eating meat, but obviously then she told me about the egg and dairy industry. And it's like, when you eat meat, you know an animal's been killed. So you know, you know, like point blank. But then it's even like vegetarians that have been veggie for like 20, 30 years. They haven't got a clue. So she um, she put me on to Gary Rofsky. Um, oh. And obviously a man like that will hit home with me because he just says it as it is. No BS. I do well, I didn't swear. Uh, no BS. And um, yeah, uh, it was, it was uh, the greatest speech ever. I don't know if you've seen it. Gary Rofsky, the greatest speech ever. I Gary was here uh, last uh, July. He came to Violence Vegan, and uh, he had a meet and greet with everybody, and he came out, and like 200 people showed up. So he's wonderful. Wow. Mate, honestly, like, I, I watched this documentary. Literally, I went vegan overnight. I after watching that, I went vegan. Ne never touched milk, butter, cheese, eggs, honey, meat overnight. I went from eating, eating, eating meat three, four times a day yeah. to putting it all out overnight, not even weaning myself off. I'd, I'd, Everything he said, I was just like, he just made me feel so stupid. And it, yeah, like, like I said, and I needed someone to sort of sh shout at me and tell me like, this is wrong, man. Not, not a bit like, oh, da, 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 like sugarcoat it and whatnot. He was like, look, this is, this is what's happening. You're being lied to. You threw the facts out there. And like I say, I agree with everything he said. So I had one option that was even, <laughs> that was it. All right, very cool. So. I want to talk a little bit, if you're cool with it, about your rap that went viral. Um, because I know that brought you quite a bit of, you know, you were kind of just thrust in there with that rap. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I saw it on Facebook. Oh, gosh. I mean, every single vegan I knew, every vegan group was posting it on Facebook. And I know you're not even on Facebook. So <laughs> a little bit. First off, congratulations for not being on Facebook. That is amazing. And I'm, 
What has that been like for you to kind of, you know, I mean, I, I had heard, I heard of you this summer for the first time and just all of a sudden you have all these people now that are, are, are following you on Instagram. You know, you have people that really like you, people that are kind of meh. What's yeah. it been like from relative just being Kyle to like being the vegan rapper and having this viral video that everybody knows who you are now? Yeah, do you know what? It's see, me and Kaf talk about this a lot. It's it's, it's mad because I that we, we don't like to sound big headed, but like I did, I had 300 followers in January, and then now it's like gone to like 44,000. It's like, like literally from a couple of raps, it's like 20,000, then another 20,000, and then it was like, what? It was like, it was, it was quite overwhelming. But like we say, to us, we just, we, we still feel the same. And, and like we get quite like, um, like quite like, I don't know what's the word, like quite embarrassed and sort of like, when people like come up to you, because it's like, no, I'm, they go and talk to like James Aspie and Joe Carr from man. They're the like they're the real like, but then like we don't see ourselves like that. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah, yeah, it's it's been crazy, man. But do you know what? It's like when I first went vegan, it was like I was like I'm not teaching, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not teaching that blah blah. And I thought that was good enough. But then it's like now since like I've had a lot of this attention and a lot of people message me like young children, like like kids and teenagers and even adults like you've inspired me to go vegan so it's like i was like oh I've, I've got kind of a bit of responsibility here now i know like so it's like i'm gonna have to sort of push this now not not because i had to but because it's like well being vegan is good like you're stopping like your 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 bit in what happens but it's not good enough you know yeah. and like i say because i got more and more like attention from it and more more of a following and start following more vegans and more communities it opened my eyes up to it a bit more then so it's like i'm like i'm actually like making a bit of an impact here of like this is pretty pretty powerful like so it gave me a push to yeah. be more active and like i say it's just snowboarding and it's snowboarding and, and like i say now it, it, it's my life man um and i'm going back to obviously I've had good and bad. It's all of it's been good to me. All of it's been good. Like people who message me and talk to me in the streets and everything like that, it's all good. Like people get that mixed up. The only negativity I get is in is behind closed doors in private Facebook, yeah. which I'm cool with because, like I say, if I don't hear it, it don't matter. If I don't know him personally, I can't take it personally. And not only that, why would I argue with someone when? I can save my time and go and argue with a meat eater and try and convert into veganism. Why would I argue with a vegan? <laughs> so, look, exactly. So in my eyes, they just, it, they look silly. Even they can say what they want about me, but anyone who's smart outside can see, well, they, they're both vegan, but yeah. squash, squash beef, let's save all the animals and then have beef. <laughs> let's fight after. Let's, let's just save all the animals first. We're on the same side here. So, yeah, that's, like I say, I okay, out of the 99.9% .9 of love I get, it's 0.1% hate. And, and the only time I see it is when people screenshot and show me. So it don't bother me. And you're going to get that. And you can't please everyone. Of course. So let's talk a little bit about, like, activism. Because, you know, there, there are so many different ways people that are vegan um, are activists. And you've created this, this way of, you know, you're using your creativity, you're using your talent, and you're educating people. How do you think, you know, in your experience, um, what, what do you think works the best in terms of getting people to actually open their minds a little bit and consider going vegan if they'd never thought about it before? Um, well, with, with the wraps, I think the reason that's effective and, and it's the reason I keep doing the wraps in the van is because, for one, it makes me look like just a normal working class guy who mm -hmm. proves anyone can go vegan. You're not just this, this guy who's been brought up in a wealthy family for years to supplied carrots and all that can do it so that's been effective and all me back <laughs> they have to watch what they can because you know how it is oh right, then what about a lion then oh right, then what about and it's like if they they have to listen because a yeah. lot of the arg not arguments a lot of debates we call them debates <laughs> a lot of debates you have with people they're not listening they're just waiting for you to finish talking yeah. so with the rap it's kind of like you have to listen to me for four yeah. minutes now <laughs> agree in your head and what I've said in your head so I planted that seed so that's effective um I think another way a, another effective way which a lot of people don't like well, well it's, it's quite split is, is outreach is literally I don't know if you're from the anonymous where they wear the vendetta masks and they just literally 
stand stand in the square and they literally just hold the videos up of the slot houses, blah blah blah. Not saying nothing, just playing and just letting people see it. Mm -hmm. Um, I was having this conversation with Epi Vegan last night about how he was saying everyone would go vegan if, if animals had voices. If yeah. every animal had voices. So that's the reason, that's like people's comfort they can't tell me. So it's fine. that it, it don't happen. They don't feel pain because they can't tell me. Um, so I think showing people and not responding and just let them take it in and just seeing what happens, that's really effective. Um, and I think most of all, the most effective way to deal with people who are being aggressive, which I'm, 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 I'm not always, for it to just be completely peaceful, and because look, we, we have this discussion all the time. We have people come to us like, rah, 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 like just oh, I love bacon and egg sandwiches, though. Like, yeah, and you just like, look, brother, how's it going? Like, listen, man, no, I'm all love for you, man. I've, all I want, I'll do this for you. I do this for the planet. Do it for the animal. I don't do it for me. I don't make them money. These food industries don't care. The government don't care. The pharmaceutical companies don't care. They will gain profit off you. What do I get? Nothing. I'm trying. I care about you. So, and a lot of the time, if you keep being peace, keep showing them compassion. If they keep being angry, they look silly. So yeah. instead of like, instead of you sort of going down there and going ah, you go to that level. But if you stay up there, they have got two options: to stay down and look silly, or to come up here. And it does people get a little bit like oh he, he has a bit so oh i do get where you're coming from mate no i do I said, okay then mate do me a favor i'm not saying go vegan i'm just saying do a bit of research make your own mind up okay and i think that's that's what really i could say as you know if you're watching my instagram i can always keep my cool because like we were saying in the video we made the other day it's not about us being angry at them sometimes like we're human we have bad days at work and because we are vegan, neither is are, are vegans. So most of the videos you see are like slaughterhouses, animal abuse. Yeah. So then you see that. So then you've got this fire in your belly from the bad day you've had. Then you see all this and you're like, why is this happening? Why is this still? And someone goes, oh, but bacon. And then you're like, you. <laughs> you get what I mean? So it's like, yeah. So yeah. But, but the peaceful approach is, is the best approach. And, and planting little seeds all the time, not always going full on. Because active twenty four seven, you don't necessarily have to walk out in the streets and scream. You can just talk, talk it, talk heels, and just plant little seeds. Because the thing is, as well, you, you might not be there to to see that harvest, but that, that doesn't matter as long as that's just like that, that's what that matters. You, you don't want to take the credit for that because it's as long as they go vegan or but at least looking to make that decision that's good Um, hold on one sec, guys. Hold on. <laughs> Let's see what just happened. Uh, okay, okay. Back. sorry. <laughs> apparent, apparently, um, the one thing people should know is how sensitive I am. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what Kaf says, because I think a lot of people do get... Now, I, feel, I do think people see that. I just think the people that don't know me or, or don't interact with me do see me as someone who's quite fiery and quite... Don't get offended. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't affect ideas, oh, man. It, everything. No, no, yeah, do you know what? I'll tell you the truth now, right? When 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 people pay me compliments, it, it fills me with, like, just... just I just, it just fills me with euphoria. I, it, I absolutely love it. But sometimes I take more offence to the bad comments than the good ones because I do care. I, I don't want anyone to dislike me. I know I've, that's something I've got to work on. But the thing is, people tend to dislike me because of the wrong impression they get about me. 
do you get what I mean? Sometimes people see me like like retaliate to people with aggression, but what people forget is like I always treat people how they treat me, which is yeah. not always right, but that's how I was taught. If if someone treats you with kindness, treat them the same, and you should treat people with kindness. But if someone's being a complete something that's not a good word, then then <laughs> then um then yeah, then they're, they're sort of asking for that. But but at, at the same time, as I'm getting older, I'm learning that doesn't matter because the thing is, it's like I'm saying, then you're coming down to their level and you're letting them insult you, you're letting that negativity in you instead of instead of turning that into positive and pushing it back onto them, which is something I am working on. But yeah, I am quite, I am very, very, very sensitive person. Though. I, I, everything does it, all emotions affect me. I take in a lot of people's emotions as well. Like I, if I see a homeless guy, man, I can't walk past him and not talk to him or at least give him food. Or if we see children and that that are on their own, we always into it. Like it does, but like I say, a lot of people do get the wrong impression about me. But I know what I'm about. My friends and family know what I'm about, and that's that's what that kind of matters to me. As long as I'm true to myself, I don't care who hates me, man. <laughs> I what other people think about. Other people think about. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Like I say, all as long as the animals love me, that's what I'm, that's what matters. Be perfect, exactly. <laughs> so, um, where have you traveled? You've traveled outside of of, of um, England, yeah? Oh yeah, yeah, a lot of traveling. Where's the most vegan friendly place you've been? Probably Berlin. Yeah. Probably. Okay. Oh, do you know what? Do you know what? Tell a lie. Tell a lie. Um, Australia, Melbourne. Really? That was that was epic. That's Berlin's, it's a little bit different in Berlin. Berlin's quite, because I visited Berlin, because well, I used to travel to, with me and my travelling buddy, we used to tra- we used to try and hit about four or five different cities a year, like, um, just like long weekends because we were so committed to work. But Berlin's quite scattered, it's all over the place. And yeah, we never do research, we're two young lads who just want to get paired up and eat some food and have a good time. But um, I went to, I went to Mal- uh, Australia, um, and I went to Melbourne and there was just literally this, this brooch just full of vegan, vegan, vegan. And it was the, the coolest place I've ever seen. And the food was epic, man. It was, I'd say the best vegan food and, and variety was Melbourne that I've been to. 100%. 100% it was awesome. That's awesome. I've heard a lot about Berlin. I've been to Berlin. Um, never heard about Melbourne being like the, the oh, vegan awesome, food. Man. That's awesome. 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 Um, I think... I think in Melbourne as well, it's it's more of a it's more of a trend. It's more of a trend than 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 ethics. Sure, I mean that, see- that's what it is now. It's it's vegan is becoming trendy, which is great. As whatever way people get there is is fantastic. I kind of what what I mean by that is they eat vegan food, but they're not vegan because uh, like, the girl, yeah, the, the girl, it was all trend fashion what whatnot, and you'd see people they wouldn't eat vegan, they'd eat raw vegan so it's like super like level 10 vegan stuff this is man but then they go across the road and buy some like donuts like that yeah. i got like egg milk in or whatever so it's like oh come on man you nearly did it <laughs> you had to ruin it didn't you yeah so um so who like for people starting out and you know on instagram or something who would you think are some good people to follow on instagram i know you were hanging with epic vegan last night and i just downloaded their oil for instant pot cookbook and I'm obsessed with it. But who are some other ones to kind of help get you in and, and, and kind of help you learn a little bit more about being vegan um, in all aspects? Yeah, my, my favorite activist is Joey Cabstrong. Okay. You know Joey Cabstrong? No. Australian dude. He's like, I like him because he's, he's kind of like, he's like us as well. He's like someone who's come from like, not necessarily the nicest of backgrounds and that, like a bit, bit of a full back in his day and all of that, like, but he turned his life around and sort of focused on veganism. But he's, he's, he's a brilliant activist. Like I say, he's, he's a good role model because he's come from bad. He's turned his life around and he like folk, he, he puts his like energy into something that's good, but he travels the world. He's doing outreach. He does so much. So Joey Cowdron is good for, for, for the young people. James Aspie as well. He's, he's a good friend, friend of James Aspie. Good friend okay. of him. They normally put a lot together. They're they they're very good. Who, who, who else do? Obviously Gary Urofsky, If you if you if you if you if you're strong minded enough, um, and um, yeah, I think that's that's nah, um, my, my good friend. Obviously my partner in crime, uh, Catherine Kendall. Catherine Kendall. She's uh, yes. well, Kath Kendall for sure. Um, um, so yeah, she she's. 
Yeah, I just I think I think the new the new revolution of vegans are good for the for the community because yeah. like I say, like people stereotype vegans as being pale, malnourished, like love love just they just read books, they never go out and party or <laughs> they never do all this stuff, their best friends, their dad and you know what I mean? Just just and it's it's not like that. It's over the past year or so I've seen it change so much. Yeah. And it's like everyone and anyone is vegan now, no matter who you are, celebrities, like even chefs, even people that work on farms. So it's like but yeah, I think them kinds of vegans, they're very active, they're very honest, they're very passionate. And yeah, they're just yeah, they speak from the heart, man. So definitely Joey, definitely James, and definitely Kath Kendall, hundred percent. Okay. What's your favorite meal? My favorite meal. <sighs> Oh, do you know what? I, do you know what? I get asked this a lot. I, I, I always say that, but that's too easy. Um, well, what, do you know what? Oh, there's a there's a vegan chip shop like oh. not far from, me, and it's like our it's um it's like our treat. It's our treat. Like they do like mock chicken, mock meat, and all that kebabs, and ice. It's that it's a dirty day that is. But um, my uh, I'd say I, I love like pad thai's, like tofu's and noodles and ginger and then yeah, I love Asian food. Love Asian food, man. In Indian and Chinese, love it all. Okay. I'm a bit of a so I'll eat anything. <laughs> um, what do you think? What's your best piece of advice for people that want to go vegan? Do it. Nah. Um, the be the best advice. The best advice is if you're on your own because. Going vegan on your own is like one of the most difficult things, um, especially if you've never interacted with vegans. It's the easiest thing to do now with social media. But like I say, we, we had this discussion as well. It's like when you go vegan, you step into a different world. The world changes because your whole world is veganism. And it's like before that, it's like it didn't exist. It's crazy. You know what I mean? Um, and and, and um, But yeah, I think the best thing to do is, is watch as many documentaries as you can. Um, just so you've got the knowledge. So you understand the health benefits, obviously the benefits of the, for the planet, for, for the animals, for, for world hunger. Um, add as many vegans as you can, as many vegan pages. Uh, and I think don't scare yourself off either. I think, and I get a bit of criticism for this as well from the, the, the pretentious vegans and that. Um, but try and cut it down. Don't cut everything out. Try and cut it down because you don't want to scare yourself. You don't want to scare yourself. You don't want to be like, I'm starting to feel less energized because that's the other thing as well. People don't do enough research into what they should be eating because they eat before they used to eat foods that fill them up. So they feel full. They're not energized. They feel full and they think that's how you should feel. They're lethargic and they can't think properly and they're clouded and whatnot. But yeah, I just think do, do, do major research into to, to what food you need to, to be eating. But yeah, de definitely, definitely just wean yourself off. Try and, cook, try and cut, cut out the red meat straight away. Cut out, Try and cut out your cheeses if you can. I always advise people just if if you love meat that much, just just cut it down to fish. Just eat fish once a week, twice a week, and that's where I get criticised. I still come. You're come, You're asking them to eat animals. It's like no, I don't want them to jump in with two feet and then be like no, 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 no. My iron levels are low. That, that, that. No, it's all to do with veganism. Because the thing is, I see people as well. Like, they'll have a cold the week they go veganism. Coincidence. They'd be like, oh, oh, it's been, oh, oh, I need to eat meat. Oh, it's the, the vegan diet. They blame everything on it, everything. And um, yeah, I just think take take slow steps. Take slow steps and just just make vegan friends. Add as many vegans as you can on Instagram. As many cooking pages, simple recipes, and just watch as many documentaries and keep yourself educated because that's another thing. People will watch them and like watch the health, what the health, and they'll be there with their pals. Like, oh my god, I'm never eating that again. And then they forget about it the next day, and they're at McDonald's eating a Big Mac. So it's like keep educating yourself, and after you break that twenty-one days, it's that's it. You're done. That's it. You're done, man. You got the badge. You got the green badge. We're, we're there now, man. Go out there and tell other people. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. All right. So last thing you can say now. Can we get a little wrap? Can you get a wrap, Cap? Can you go make him a fluffy wrap, quick, please, mate? <laughs> What 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 do you want me to wrap? Whatever you want. You're trying to 
you oh, fish or you're not. I want to address something really quick. Uh, Bonnie just said you're trying to go vegan, but you eat fish. You're not really vegan. Give me a break. I, I personally just want to say that I think to each person it's their own journey. And for some people, it might take a little bit more time than just simply swearing everything off. I know for me it was a journey. So I just wanted to comment on that, Bunny. Go if you have anything else to say. No, no, just, no I, I won't say. I won't. I, I won't um, encouraging people to eat fish. I'm just saying I would rather someone wean off the meats because uh, and and just just if they find because people find it difficult to cut out eggs and cheese. So yeah. I'm like, well, if you, if you find it difficult, cut everything else out for now and keep eating all the healthy foods and then find the substitutes. Don't just sit. It's just about us. From the, oh yeah, one hundred percent. But you know what? The thing, the thing. This is what people. This, this is another thing that I know. I know she's on that side. But it's like you'll talk to someone and be like, "Well, you've got suede in your shoes." Oh, oh, oh so that's the reason you eat meat and dairy because I've got a bit of suede in my shoes. Ah, uh, that's why you eat meat and dairy, mate. It's like, come on, man. Do you know what? No one will ever be a perfect vegan. The best. The, all you can do is the best you can do, man. That's all we can ask for, man. And the thing is, as well, if you start doing, if you, if you cut certain things out to start with. The thing is, you're going to keep ed educating yourself, and then it will make you want to stop doing that because you're going to learn more and more. That, that that's that's what I'm kind of saying. I'm doing it. It's kind of reverse psychology because I know for a fact once people make that step, then they're gonna they're gonna look into it. Then they're gonna read. Oh, what what pusses in milk? Oh, what hormones? What stress? Adrenaline? Oh, oh, feces, blood. Oh, so that's what I say. It's like just just get your foot in the door, man. Get your foot in the door. And we'll take the rest. We'll, we'll, we'll take care of the rest, man. That's oh, it. Yeah, Bunny, I totally understand. That is a lot of feedback, actually, from non-vegans. And they're like, oh, well, you're not really vegan. But, you know, I always explain it's a journey. And I think that that's yeah. everyone does the best they can. All right, back to this rap real quick. Can we do, rap. Do, do you know what? I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't actually rap. I, I only write lyrics for the songs. But if you want me to do something, they'll, they'll look at me. Yeah, Las Vegas, because, you know, we're trying to get you to come to Las Vegas, right? Oh, I can't think of stuff off the top of my head, man. I wrote it down. Yeah, I don't freestyle in that. Um, I'll tell you what. I've got a, I, I, I'll do a, I do a little lyrics, yeah, off the new... I'll, I'll give you a little exclusive, yeah. Even these ain't heard this, yeah. I'll put the beat on, for you especially. And it's, it's a new song that I've been doing for a pig fan. And um, I'll, do, I'll do a little bit of that for you. Is that good enough? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Of course. Thank you. Yeah, so... But, can you hear that? Oh. You froze. If you can see me, maybe. Maybe we shouldn't do the rap. Can you hear me? It's, you're breaking up. Oh, you're joking. Oh. Now you are. I don't know. We can try. Go ahead. Oh great! We're back. No, all right, one set, one set. Let me get, let me get back up. This, this is it's a good job we ain't live, isn't it? <laughs> a little bit of pressure, but if we can skip it. No, I don't know pressure. Ready? Okay. Can you imagine being two months old in a dark and cold, not knowing where you're going, no room to sleep, you can just about breathe, there's no family, just a fear that's strong and an unanswered cries, they slowly die as teardrops fill them lonely eyes and only then you realise that ego comes before your lives, and as they drive through the cracks and gaps, you see the sky and images that look like you, but they're not you, they're all lies. They're free to breathe the air outside and fool the world with this disguise with signs of happiness, but really you just hear them cry. Can you hear my call? There you go. That's it. Thank you. They're not clapping. Them. That was me. <laughs> there you go, mate. World exclusive. Uh, you heard it first. <laughs> thank, you. thank you very much. Well, I'm going to wrap it up. Kyle, stay on really quick after I end the broadcast. Um, if anyone has any questions, speak now. Forever, forever hold your peace. <laughs> You're on and answer questions later. Yep, sounds well. Okay, thank you guys very much. Oh, oh, thank you, Bonnie. Um, guys, take care. Have a great one. Uh, next event, September 27th, with uh, former WWE wrestler Austin Aries at Eclipse Theater. Check out Vegan's Navy event page for all those details. Bye, guys. Thank you, Kyle. Anytime, man. Anytime. <laughs> You're awesome.